and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're going over the Madden market, have one over it in a few days, and because of Madden Limbo, things are slowly, slowly trending in the wrong direction. For some people, for other people, you might actually like it, depending on the size of your binder. What I mean by that is, usually we like the market to slowly trend down for people who are buyers and trend up for people who are sellers. Now, I guess I speak for myself and I like it trending down because that means I can pick up some players because I'm always saving coins so that I can go pick up the brand new players and they're cheap. Other people probably might. People who buy the cards initially when they first come out actually don't like this app because then they lose coins. So for you guys, it's actually better in the terms that the market's rising back up right now. Now, it's rising back up because of Madden Limbo. It's very, sim it's very simple. No content, nothing coming out. People want to play the game. People are just going to buy any card that's on the block for whatever price they see it for because they want to play. They want to have fun with some of the new cards. And there's just no new content to drive down prices. So it's like, okay, they're not the biggest supply right now. People aren't exactly popping hacks. And people want to play. So the demand's going up. Even if it meets at like the equal, equal mark, it doesn't really matter because there's just no new content. But guys, before we get into the video, I do want to let you guys know the last three days of giveaways for the giveaway winners, I will be announcing them on my community tab today. If you guys don't know what that is, just open YouTube. Open YouTube, uh, refresh your subscribe box, whatever you should see. I'll have a community post there. Click on my community tab on my channel, and I'll post all three of the last three days of giveaway winners on there. And then you guys got to hit me up on Twitter. You guys already know the drill. I think it's easy because I put in a video. There's a good chance that maybe you guys don't watch that video for the day, and then you miss out on your chance to get a reward. Then I got to re-roll it, so if I just put it on there, you're going to see it eventually. As long as you guys check out the channel, of course. And to enter today's giveaway, all you got to do is like the video, comment down below your like number, and your comment down below on your system as well. And subscribe to the channel. Once you're listening, you're to win. Every 80 likes is 10K. I am going broke from doing some of these giveaways, guys, but it's well worth it to get back at the end of the year. Now, guys, get into the video. So, it's heading over to the auction block. Before, I was trying to look through the auction block and I was looking through my binder and I was actually filtering through it. I'm like, wow, this looks weird. I, it took me like three minutes to realize that I was filtering out my own binder. So, let's not make that mistake again. So, let's come over to the 90, the 90 to 91s. And they're already in the 38K range. Now, I know it's not like. I know that's not like expensive expensive but you can just clearly see how things are slowly slowly rising up now guys you might think like wait there was a card that was 38k a few days ago yeah but the bulk of the the bulk of the market is slowly rising up like above 40k now for 90s like there's a few in the lower but it, it starts even out around the 40k range which means if there's any kind of run on training or anything they're all going to be bought out very very quickly 92 to 93 is all consistently above 70k now now, what I really want to show you is the higher overall cards, because these cards aren't going to be affected as much, obviously, because these cards are just training type cards. And, I mean, some guys actually use them, but it's not, like, the bulk. As you get to the higher cards, you'll see really who, um, what the supply and demand is of the newer cards, considering there's been no content. So, let's get up to the 90, 94s, 95s. So, when we get on over here, the 94s are already at 147. Now, they're kind of equal equaling out above 150. These are just a few of them. I mean, if you filter them out, they're probably around 150, I'd say, probably overall. But the cards are getting kind of expensive, considering what they almost were, like what they were getting to at a point. But again, this isn't really what concerns me. It's as we get over to the actual, like, well, I shouldn't say the actual cards. The cards that are the new ones, because that is the newest brand of content. Which are going to be the 96, 97s. So, as you guys can see here, let's look at Ultimate Legends. This is what really concerns me. Right, well, well, I'm concerned about in, the, in regards to this video. So, Shannon Sharp and Mark Zown, they've been cheap. But that's just that's just because of their position and what's come out. And Kurt Warner, but now, Troy Palomalu was around 230. He's now at 250. Brian Walker was around 230, now he's at 250. Uh, Chuck was around 230, now he's at 260. It's not like things are coming up a ton. But remember, like I've been telling you guys, if things come up 20 to 30K, which isn't a lot, if you buy five cards and you lose an extra 20 to 30k per card, that's uh, depending on how much you buy it for, it could be 100 to 150,000 coins worth of coins lost. Howie Long's from up to 280, Brian Waters from up to 286, Julius Peppers made it back above 300k, Calvin Johnson, he's been around his average. The issue with Calvin was he was always so overpriced, just in terms of the fact that he was like 500k for 96 overall. So he had to come down eventually. Walter Jones is 350 now. Remember, I initially bought him for 267, and he's just been rising every day since. Warren Sapp 360, Brian Dawkins above 400k, Rob Woodson, he's one of the newer ones, you can't really judge him, Eric Dickerson 438, Eric Dickerson initially was like three. He was like 398 and like 415 as he started coming down, now he's coming back up a little bit, as the people want, people are saving up for all these running backs, and there's no new running backs, just him and Saquon, so people are buying them out, Ed Too Tall was like, what, 400 flat, like 415, now he's 484, almost 500k, 
things are slowly slowly trending back up now this is the time to sell because this is like the last little bit of influx you're gonna get from these players and then once the combine promo and everything drops things should come back down look at the team of the years these cards are old already at this point literally the second or third not you know second week of january these came out a while ago and 240 these are getting higher than the team of the week call um, not team of the week the uh ultimate legend cards michael thomas should not be 260 i mean he has a better he has the him and Calais campbell do have the benefit of being able to be upgraded to the team of the uh damn it their nfl honors so many so many promos already in this game i get kind of tongue twisted sometimes george kittle was just like 220 if you guys remember my video the other day i literally said i wanted to pick him up when he got a little bit uh, cheaper now he's almost 300k zach martin i picked him up for 220 now he's almost 300k and you keep going down you can just you can just see the trend of the market aaron donald was just like 320 and now he's already back at almost four. Oh, 349 okay he uh he came up a little bit there but as you can see if he sells out there's only one left here russell wilson was a lot cheaper too things are just trending up total and like in just in general i see the 98 to 99s and 98 to 99s guys i have to talk a little bit about a little bit about these in general so you guys are probably wondering when are you gonna be able to get these now a lot of people have been asking me if you have powered up vic or, or powered up lamar should you still keep him and wait for his redux yes if you're gonna buy his redux card and you have him already fully powered up and you like lamar already just wait for him my thing was in terms of people who are gonna buy him like right now it wasn't worth it but you have to also wait for his redux price it could be good it could be bad we really don't know i really don't know how it's gonna affect the market like if the redux card comes out decently out of packs it could be about a million coins if it comes out a ton of packs and people really just it oh it floods the market it could be about 600k or it can be super super rare and the second they come out everyone buys them out everyone wanted everyone who wanted him spams the market and before you know it he's like 2 million coins at 1.8 still so i really don't know the implications of him coming out of packs as a redux we're gonna have to just wait and see on that one so i, I wouldn't like hold your breath thinking that you're gonna definitely get him as a redux but you will get a power pass the next series update which will be 98 so if you can't get him as a redux you can still use him there so don't really fret they'll probably be a great option for it anyways now the next card is nitro in lane as far as him coming up these cards have came up by the way quite significantly patrick mahomes and nitro lane were like 790 850 for a solid like half a week until the content just stopped dropping now in my opinion nitro lane and uh mahomes okay mahomes don't, don't get me wrong he's the best quarterback in madden he's super glitchy he's super fun to play with so don't get me wrong this price i understand why he's so expensive but i think that he's more of a 600k quarterback and that's not because I think he's, he's he's overvalued. I think he's valued fine. It's because the this way Madden is this year, you really shouldn't be paying above 600K for a card. Madden's been great this year at one thing, and that's when the market's been very controlled. So where like a new Calvin comes out, 500K. Like even like super rare LTDs, 700K. Like it's been very controlled. Like in, guys, in older Madden, you guys should be grateful. That's the one thing about this Madden in terms of the market. A lot of things are affordable, guys. I promise you, in older Madden's like, you didn't get Vic. There was no such thing as buying a Vic. You had to pull Vic. If you didn't pull Vic, you probably didn't get Vic ever for the whole year. There were times when like Golden Ticket Vic, and there was Ultimate Legend Vic, or there was Limited Time Throwback 2005 Vic, and you didn't touch that Vic. You never got to play with Vic. All the peasants didn't get to touch Vic. Trust me, even YouTubers struggled to get Vic. I'm telling you guys, that was old Madden. Now everyone can afford every card, so you guys gotta. This one we've got to be grateful for is how the market has been like kind of steadier and more fair to most people. But that's about it. Like th these cards this year, these these resemble older Madden. Like Lamar Jackson was old Vic. Like that that resembles older Madden, which is why no one's really gonna buy him. Which is why I recommend you wait. And Patrick Mahomes and Nitro Lane. Nitro Lane's only up right now because he's first off he's the best cornerback in the game. Second, he's a 98 overall, which is only like two of him, two 98 overalls in Madden. Third, he's a set that takes 32 teams to complete. And fourth, because the market the Madden's dead right now. When everything starts coming out and he's not the best player in the game anymore and he comes down a little bit he should come down to about 500 600k and he's safe to buy mahomes same thing once vic drops and a few other ultimate legend quarterbacks drop and the combine promo comes out he'll come down a little bit but he's a 99 so remember it's gonna take a little bit longer with him because he's still gonna be a 99 above everyone else for a little bit longer and then lamar jackson uh he's only his redux will eventually come down is his ltd it's gone it's a, it's, a, it's a done deal he's a limit time card he's out of packs never gonna pull him again these are the four remaining in auction block existence right now minus the ones you have people haven't sold yet but you guys get the point so that's pretty much wrap up this video guys it really sucks for not being in mad and limbo there's not much to talk about there's not many videos to make it re re really just not a fun time i'm probably gonna be starting up a series pretty soon some kind of gameplay series so i'll leave some poll down below or like in the community tab at some point for you guys so we can kind of decide this i'm gonna need a series or two to just get us through the summer months and just chill back relax have some fun with madden until it's time 
for the brand new mat. So that's probably what I'm gonna be doing because as content starts to get slower, I definitely need some kind of set videos to make on a daily basis. Don't wanna be doing this every day where it's just a struggle to find content. But guys, that's about it for the video. Go down below. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. If you want to enter the giveaway, you must like the video. Comment down below your system and the number of like you are. And subscribe to the channel. Once you're all things, you're entered to win. Every 80 likes is 10k given away. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.